Hey everybody, welcome to an unexpected um, Friday uh, afternoon edition of uh, Keith's Beer Reviews. I was originally scheduled uh, to work tonight. Uh, the boss screwed up on the schedule. Didn't, meet, need, didn't need me tonight. Actually, he changed it yesterday and wanted me to work last night. He tried calling me yesterday afternoon. Well, obviously while I was gone doing the doing the, the Pliny review, so I got an ex. I uh, didn't. He worked last night since I couldn't get in, and uh, since I wasn't gonna work after drinking a beer, and uh, got today off too. So I'm gonna do a, a beer from uh, an Iowa brewery. I've reviewed a few of their beers um, from the Peace Tree Brewing Company. I'm gonna do their Sidekick Colts style ale um, it says brewed in peace brewed by peace tree in uh, cold spring minnesota which is not exactly true they don't have a canning facility i think this is the only can beer they made um, it was brewed at uh, cold spring brewing in cold spring uh, minnesota uh, apparently under the under the watchful eye of uh, joe the brewmaster at uh, peace tree but uh, it's not exactly brewed at peace tree brewing but it's Got their name on it anyway. Uh, first canned beer I've seen from them. A um, little bit from the website and something similar on, on the can. It's a sidekick coal. Some beers fight for attention and then there are some unsung heroes. Wearing the mask of a lager, this unfiltered ale is crisp and refreshing. It packs a wallop of flavor. Lightly hopped and brewed in the tradition of Cologne, Germany, this coal style ale is the perfect companion for your backpack, tackle box, or picnic baskets. Kapow! There's a little bit more there. It comes in at uh, 5% ABV. So, you get this can open. Don't need my uh, my trusty BB bar fly today. Get it. I'm going to pour it into my new 88 cent uh, Goodwill glass that I got yesterday with the cute little doggy on it. I thought that was nice. Another goblet style glass. I think I can probably pair it pour fairly aggressively yeah it's not bad that's a nice light straw yellow uh, got a nice couple fingers of a, a white head uh, really foamy looking kind of creamy looking uh, moderate amount not a ton of carbonation streaming up just a real moderate amount of carbonation streaming up but um, looks like a coal so um, and it's um, one other place it says the style is commonly filtered we prefer to leave this beer unfiltered like a Keller beer so there's a slight haze to it but it, it it's fairly clear looks uh, looks uh, fairly filtered so um, I don't know if that's totally unfiltered or not but uh, anyway let me get a nose on it okay I mean, yeah, I'm getting some grassy hop notes a uh, little malt um, a light fruitiness it's not really anything I can particularly tell just your generic uh, fruitiness got some sweet uh, sweet undertones to it um, definitely got that slightly grassy grassy hop aromas they're a little less prominent but uh, they're there possibly even almost a little almost almost a little like corn or something uh, maybe just a hint of a honey sweetness but nice uh, light smelling beer it's light sm light smelling but um, smells nice nothing nothing definitely wrong with it so let me give it a taste okay you get those light delicate uh, fruity flavors um right there at the right there at the beginning uh, definitely a lot of those um there's a lot, but they're really light, uh, grassy hop notes in there. Um, those generic fruity flavors kind of kick in a little more there, about uh, about about mid tongue, mid palate. Um, but the 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 grassy hoppiness um, definitely uh, keeping up with it right through to the right through the right through to the finish. Um, the uh, the hot bitterness, uh, the slight hot bitterness kicks in, uh, uh, especially uh, right there at the back, at the back of the throat and into the finish. Um, it finishes on a fairly, uh, 
fairly dry, uh, refreshing note. Um, I'm still getting that, that, that graininess, that almost touch of corn there, though. Um, somewhat sweet, but almost bland. Um, but there's a lot more of those uh, grassy hop flavors than uh, the nose suggested, for sure. Uh, it's really a uh, light, uh, light mouthfeel, light profile. Um, carbonation is just about perfect for it. Um, there's a little, little spritziness there, but uh, it gives it a, you know, it's it's not overly done for 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 light beer like this. It's just about right for that. Um, got a nice drying finish, so uh, let me sit, sip on this a while, and I will come back after a while with the final thoughts and grade. Okay, I'm back. It's been a little longer than I expected, about 20 minutes or so. I'm out here right near the 18th tee of the uh, the Frisbee golf course, and a couple groups of uh, golfers came through, so I had to sit and wait for them to to play through. <clears throat> um, as, it's, as it's warmed up, um, the, the flavors, I think this is one that needs to be drunk just a little bit warmer than... Uh, refrigerator temperature and unlike a lot of colches I think but uh, as it's warmed up the uh, the flavors have come out a little more this is a ex except for that uh, really dry really dry uh, grassy finish this is a very very sweet beer it, again those those fruity notes are in there I'm not sure just generic I just say fruitiness because I can't really define it as any particular fruit um, I'm not getting any citrus or anything like that it'd be I, I, I don't know it's just that's the only way I can describe it um, but uh, this is a fairly uh, decent Kolsch I mean there's nothing offensive about it but uh, nothing real exciting either um, I can see people who are, are, are you know not into drinking craft beer uh, you know picking this up and you know really enjoying it uh, the, the sweetness the the fruitiness the that uh, cereal grain like corn like notes have, have come out a little more too it's not like uh not like uh adjuncts like you're getting macro booze but there is a the hint of a corn there um i did uh i did get a taste of this at the uh, iowa craft beer festival a couple weeks ago and uh wasn't super impressed but i was more there they were tap tapping a barrel of their uh their uh bread aged uh Corn, cornucopia, which was uh, which was stellar. I'd really love to love to give that a try. Um, again, I, I'm sure I don't think they did. Uh, maybe more than a few barrels. It was barrel aged and uh, bread infused, so um, really nice beer. Uh, but this is this isn't too bad of a colch. Um, it's something I think you could probably drink from the can and not lose too much. Um, I have a can left from the four pack. Needless to say, I've had four before this, so I do have a do have a pretty good uh, initial impression of it. Um, it's a nice, easy drinking summertime beer. A gr it'd be a great lawnmower beer. Uh, my other can, I will probably. In fact, I when I when I get done done here and get started uploading on my video, I'm going to have to uh, have to go home and mow the yard, yard again. So I may may crack that other can and just try it straight from the can. Um, I think it's one you could drink from the can and not uh, not lose too much. Uh, so I'm gonna get, it's decent, it's drinkable, decent decent interpretation of a, of a Kolsch, or as they say, Kolsch style. So I'm gonna give the uh, Peace Tree, Tree Brewing Sidekick Kolsch style ale, I'm gonna give it a good solid uh, 7.5 out of 10. Decent drinkable beer, uh, not worth going out of your way for, but uh, worth trying if 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 you can if you can get it if you get a can or two that'd probably be even better rather than buying the six pack. But uh, darn good beer, so decent. Well, not darn good, but decent beer. So till next time, everybody. Cheers. Let's keep drinking good beers. Um, I got. I'm only going to be. There probably only be a couple of beer reviews um, in the next week. I've only got two days off in the next week. I hope they hire somebody soon because I'm only supposed supposed to be part time at the most about three days a week. So um, I got Monday and Friday off, and I work every other 
every other day during that time, clear through until next Saturday. So um, there might be a might be a review on Monday and Friday, but that'll be about it. So cheers, everybody.